Hey everybody, Queen here, just came back on here, do a little chit chat, so how's everybody doing, I hope everybody's having a blessed day. I want to talk about, it is some stuff from the drama channel, but I just want people, because people that be on my page don't be over there, really, um, I just wanted somebody uh, else's opinion on this subject matter. But anyway, over in the B sector, they which do what you call roast and gags or whatever. And the particular two people I'm talking about, um, <clears throat> it's a man and a woman. But the man has always stated, like, whatever goes on, you know, don't take it off of YouTube. This, that, and the other. Well, him and the ladies, um, I guess what they call YouTube ship, broke up, right? And so, they pro well, he throws, sh I would say he throws a liminal shade all the time. And, but she will roast, or, but she says she don't roast and gag, she drags to the white meat, and she does. She does. Therefore, she has a lot of enemies, you know, on, um, YouTube. People that she done drug to the, to the white meat. And I will say this on her behalf, um, that she only does it when they come after her. You know, like, once you come after her, then she's going to do what she's got to do. Well, anyway, they YouTube, they had a, like a, they had a, a, I guess, a friendship off of YouTube, too, right? But he, he says that he's a pastor, right? Um, I like both of them, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I did unsubscribe from him recently because, you know, once he started going a little sideways, it kind of disturbed me a little bit. But the recent thing he did was, you know, and though people say it's not criminal, because it's not criminal, um, but it, it was just wrong, you know, because what he did, he wrote to her neighborhood that she lived in, and took pictures of landmarks that's in her neighborhood. So, with him knowing that she has all these other enemies out here, I don't care what him or her going through, but him knowing that this like this somebody could really reach out and touch her, you know, it, it's just crazy. And a lot of people, it's just tremendous because a lot of women over there is like, he was right because she said this and said that and been dragging for weeks. But whatever she did, she kept it on YouTube. I know she said that she would go to his event, but the event is in September. She ain't did that. I think she made idle threats. And if some people, even if you don't like her, pay attention to what's going on because even though she said those things, she could have been put out his uh, address. She could have been put out where she's been to his home. She could have told people what kind of car he got. It's just so many things she could have did because she has personally met him, right, and went to where he lived at, right. But even though he done put her, he done posted photographs on YouTube of landmarks in her neighborhood where people could easily find out. And obviously somebody has because somebody else has been riding around her neighborhood too. Now they're paying intimidation decks. And mind you, he calls himself a pastor, which I, you know, I'm no pastor on here. I always just thought he was a comedian. I never took him as a pastor. And I was surprised that people really took him seriously as a pastor. But I just took him as a comedian. He was funny. Um, but it's just crazy and, you know, he keeps saying, well, I ain't did nothing wrong. But he knows what he's doing. I'm, I've been around people that's been stalked. I've been stalked. I, and they do little th subtle things like that. So it don't cross the line of being um, criminal, but it can be, but it's still an Im 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 I'm trying to get the word out. intimidation tactic to show I can, he even, matter of fact, he went to somebody else's live and said, yeah, I took pictures. I show her I can, um, I know where she lives. You know, that's intimidation. And then you went to somebody that you know that don't like her, even though the lady's far away from her. You know, it's just the point that he did that. Like, he's going to her enemies and saying, like, I know where she lives at. I know this. I know that. Who knows what he done told somebody? Even if you want to do this off of YouTube. He, now, he took, now, his main thing was always, don't take it off of YouTube. I don't like when people dox me and this, that, and the other. And they take it off of YouTube. And he do he go around he he did it you know so it's not a point of it being criminal it's about a point that you just did wrong and if somebody come and shoot that lady or do something physical harm to it it indirectly goes back to you it indirectly goes back to you because you gave him the first credence of showing I know where you live at she got screenshots too of that girl stuff that he that he wrote in um the other lady's thing I didn't know he had did that until um I was watching this other man named Timothy Blaine and he said like oh. She, he wrote this in her chat, and so I go over to the chat, and I look at the chat, and he literally wrote that stuff. Like, I was like, wow, that's crazy. And told her to go look on my community feed. Yeah, I show her I know where she lives at. And he was like, I'm tired, daughter. But the thing is, you here's the thing. 
I can't believe he that tired because he know Tracy do this. He know that she always have done this. Like, he don't watch her roast and drag her to white meat for as long as he have known her. So he already knew once you fell out, it was going to be the same way with you. So why would you go and do something like that, though? You know, because now I'm actually worried for her because she has a lot of haters. And it's obviously even women that's probably been abused. There's been in situations that they hate her so much. They basically saying she deserved it. So, yeah, basically to me, that's crazy. It's like they saying they wish death about her. You might as well just say, I wish she died, you know, or some bullshit like that because it's just, that's just crazy to me. You know, and if something was to happen to her or somebody uh, touched her physically, because obviously now there's more people into it. And it's probably people, um, she said somebody, she think it was him riding around, but I actually think it was somebody else just trying to keep this going and really trying to put a scare attack in her on behalf of him. You see what I'm saying? It could be on behalf of anybody because she don't piss a lot of people off with her mouth, though. That's what they do. They come at her with her mouth, but when she hit them back with her mouth, they get upset with it, and I just think that's wrong. You know, it's just don't want, that's when I was telling y'all uh, last night that it went down kind of dark over there. You know, it's been people talking about people's children. It's, just, it's been a lot going on, and it's like, I want to walk away, but it's like, that human nature, like, what the hell is going to happen? But um, I really like her, so I just hope nothing happens to her. Um, uh, and that she uh, do do what she got to do to protect herself. And um, I just think he was wrong. And that, that, that made me unsubscribe from him. I was like, I got to unsubscribe from you because you just went too far. And, and for people that, that happen to, and they know them subtle little tactics that people use to try to get to you. only thing about me, I had my brothers and my uncles. And they didn't know that I, I was kin to the people that I was kin to. But when they found the fuck out, they went and apologized to them and apologized to me and said it would never happen because they didn't know. Because I don't hang with my brothers. I didn't hang with my brothers and a lot of my family members. But they was known where I was at. But when they found out that I was some kin to them and my brothers and them stepped up to the plate, shit that down so quick because they know they didn't play. You know what I'm saying? But every woman don't have that, you know what I'm saying? Like, every woman don't have that big uh, family uh, with a lot of men that it will step to the plate. Like, oh, no, this ain't about to happen. My, like my brother, when it happened to me, dude had been hiding around my mother's apartment and just harassing her. He know my brother was in there one day, and he did something. My brother went out and whooped his ass in the middle of the street. I ain't even knowing this. I'm coming home from school, getting off the bus, and... Traffic is stopped on both sides because they said my brother almost broke dude's neck. You know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't play like that where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't going down. So, but I just hope that she keeps herself, you know, just safe. Just safe. I think that is really great. And this dude calls himself a pastor. He he claims he is so much higher than everybody else because of the house he got. I got, I live in a nice house house too. I mean, I would never brag on it because it is what it is. I'm grateful and blessed for anything that I have. He brags on the houses he has, the degrees he has. He put anybody down that, you know, may have a criminal history or whatever, but they done changed their life and they, they doing right or they stuff is not up to par where he is need to be. He just puts them down, you know, so I don't like to condescend to people. I had never seen that of him because I would just go in his chat room most time when, like, last time I was in his chat room, we was kind of talking about nostalgia stuff about old time foods. And it was a good time. Tracy was in there too. That, that was before they fell out. So it was like, it was a good time. So I know that he can control his chat room when he want to. Um, but I guess sometimes he don't want to. He let trolls, what they call troll pages, and everybody just gather up in there when he wants to. I guess it's to keep his numbers up or get his numbers up higher, viewership up higher. They let anybody, because when he want to control it, he can control it. But I'm going to do a part two of this because I don't know if this is going to load right because it's like a nine minute one. Because, like, I haven't been doing my videos consistently like I used to. Y'all know I do haul stuff. But like I said, I've been not buying anything. And, um, but I am going to start getting back into doing my purchases. I haven't ordered anything for a long time. Well, I, feel like I had so much stuff, even in moving and all the stuff I threw away, still got a lot of stuff. I need to do maybe a video about all the stuff I still got, you know, so, uh, and, and show everybody where I got certain things from. But anyway, like I said, you know, everybody take have a blessed day. You know, it takes nothing but a minute to do a kind gesture, kind word, and what goes around comes around. Everybody have a blessed one. Bye-bye.